The show starts in a hotel room, where our main character, the young and beautiful Mia Chusia, wakes up and realizes her boyfriend Jakai is missing. As she looks around anxiously, she is shocked to find another guy named Tong Jing Sing in her room. She asks Tong about her boyfriend, but he acts superior and gives her a check for 5 million won, telling her to forget about what happened last night. However, Mi starts crying and reveals that it was her first time, insisting that she's not that kind of girl. Meanwhile, Jakai receives a call from his boss threatening to fire him if he doesn't return to work. He also gets a call from an unknown number, demanding repayment within a week. Later, as Tong leaves the room, Mi follows and tries to return the check he gave earlier. Unfortunately, they're seen together in the elevator by a jewelry designer named Alex, who assumes that Mi is Tong's girlfriend. Tong panics and introduces her as his fiancée, and although Mi tries to object, she plays along when he insists. Afterward, Mi gets a call from her mother urging her to come home. When she arrives, her father, having seen her on the news with Tong, scolds her for her behavior and sends her away. Outside, Jakai calls Mi and explains that he's been in hiding because he can't repay a loan for a million won. Mi sympathizes and promises to try her best to gather the money in a week. Later, the Human Resources Department of Wan Mao Group calls Mi, congratulating her for passing the interview for the archive assistant position. Mi is thrilled to get the news and agrees to visit the office for registration on Monday. At the Wan Mao office, the board of directors is very angry at Tong for ruining their company's reputation by spending the night with a random girl. Enraged, Tong replies that he will smooth everything out within a month or or else he will resign from the company. Here, it's revealed that Tong is the CEO of the company, having recently taken over after his grandmother resigned. Once everyone leaves the meeting room, Tong calls his secretary and asks her to find Mi as soon as possible. Meanwhile, Mi is carrying documents pondering how she can make a million won in a week. Suddenly, she bumps into Tong, and both of them are taken by surprise. Observing them, the secretary contacts Tong's mother and informs her that Tong's girlfriend is an employee at their company. Upon hearing this, the grandmother asks the secretary to keep an eye on them, and then rushes to the office. When the old woman arrives, at the office and is making her way to meet Tong, she suddenly experiences difficulty breathing and collapses to the floor. Fortunately, Mi'i is nearby and rushes to her aid. She quickly provides the grandmother with an inhaler, improving her condition instantly. Impressed by her quick thinking and helpful attitude, the grandmother promises to talk to Mi'i's boss about increasing her salary or her position within the company. However, when Mi'i mentions that she's planning to resign soon, the grandmother becomes visibly saddened. She asks Mi'i for her contact number, seemingly wanting to stay in touch. Mi'i agrees, and it's clear that their interaction has left a positive impression on the grandmother. Later, the grandmother has a heart-to-heart -heart with Tong. She insists on meeting her granddaughter-in-law, hinting that Tong needs to turn this scandal into a genuine relationship in order to repair the company's damaged reputation. She suggests that Tong marry the girl and bring her home that very evening. Despite his initial reluctance, Tong realizes he has limited options to salvage the situation. He reluctantly agrees to his grandmother's plan and proceeds to call Mi, requesting her presence in his office. In the next scene, Mi enters Tong's office carrying a resignation letter, prepared to quit her job. However, her plans take an unexpected turn when Tong surprises her by refusing to accept her resignation. Instead, he pulls her closer, revealing that they will soon be engaged. At first, Mi'i resists this sudden announcement, but Tong reminds her of the debt her boyfriend owes, and she reluctantly agrees to the plan. Tong presents a six-month arrangement, explaining that Mi'i will need to act like his fiancé during this time to help restore the company's reputation. Our heroine reluctantly signs the contract, and thus begins the unexpected and complex arrangement between them. As soon as the signing is complete, Tong instructs Mi to get ready to go home with him in the evening. Mi'i raises objections, but Tong reminds her of the binding contract, and she reluctantly agrees to the request. However, when she arrives at Tong's house and meets his grandmother, she is taken aback. It turns out to be the same lady Mi'i had helped in the office earlier, and the grandmother mother is overjoyed to meet her again. During dinner, the grandmother suggests that Tong take good care of Mi'i, and the unexpected twist is that they are going to have to start living together right away. She even asks Mi'i to move in to start planning their life together in the house. Despite their attempts to object, the grandmother is not having it. She simply informs them that she's headed off to travel the world, leaving them to enjoy their time together. However, before she leaves, the grandmother reveals a special surprise waiting for them in the bedroom. After her departure, Tong and Mi'i proceed to the bedroom, discovering something unusual. A security camera connected to the entrance, recording their entry time every day. This camera is linked to the grandmother's phone, granting her the ability to monitor their activities. Having no option, they enter, and Mi is amazed by the tasteful decor of the room. She also finds a lovely dress placed by the grandmother on the bed, and appreciates her thoughtful choice. When it's time to sleep, Tong suggests that Mi sleep on the floor while he takes the bed. Mi initially objects, but she's reminded of the contract, which makes her reluctantly agree. However, as Tong goes to the bathroom to freshen up, Mi checks the bed mattress and decides to take a rest there. A little while later, she talks to Tong about a suggestion she has. She proposes that he adopt a child, as his grandmother seems eager for a great-grandchild. 
Hearing this, Tong gets annoyed and firmly expresses that he doesn't want to adopt a child or plan for a baby while she's with him. This makes Mi'i feel quite uncomfortable, and in a moment of frustration, she accidentally throws the bed controller on the floor, causing the bed to start vibrating. Both of them are unaware of this, and due to the unexpected vibrations, Mi'i falls off the bed. This makes Tong burst into laughter, and after making fun of her, he tells her to sleep on the floor. The next morning, Tong wakes up early for a meeting. Mi is in the bathroom, and Tong and the employees are discussing a serious matter. Unbeknownst to everyone, Mi shouts from the bathroom, urgently asking Tong to bring her a towel. He tries to ignore it and focus on the meeting, but Mi keeps shouting. Her voice is so loud that even the employees hear her and start laughing. Seeing this, Tong closes his laptop and confronts Mi for disrupting his meeting. Our heroine swears that she had no idea he was in the meeting. After this, Tong suggests that she get ready for their reception party in the evening. He then calls a secretary to get an update on the preparations, and the secretary reassures him that everything is on track. The scene then shifts to a lady named Lin, who's surprised to see the news of Tong and Mi'i's engagement. She quickly calls Jaikai and informs him that his girlfriend is engaged to someone else. Initially, Jaikai is upset, but when Mi'i reveals that it's part of a plan to get money to pay off his debt, his attitude quickly changes and agrees to go along with her scheme. Later, during the reception party in the evening, Tong and Mi'i exchange rings and put on a show, projecting a happy couple to everyone. Meanwhile, Lin and Jakai are watching them closely. After a while, Lin calls Mi'i, and they meet privately. She tries to convince Mi'i to cancel the wedding, suggesting that she and Tong are actually in a relationship, and the hotel incident was just a big misunderstanding. Mi'i naively believes Lin's words and expresses her sympathy. However, right at that moment, Tong arrives and refutes any relationship with Lin. He takes out his phone and shows Mi'i a video where Lin is seen taking a drunk Mi'i to the hotel room. This shocks Mi'i, and her perspective on the situation quickly changes. The scene then flashes to the day in question, which was actually Mi'i's birthday. She wanted to celebrate her birthday with Jakai, but he pretended to have some important work to complete and walked away from the bar. At the same time, Lin and Tong were together with Alex to sign their deal for a project in which Lin was supposed to be the model. As she has been crushing on Tong from the moment they met, she wanted to spend time with him. In a despicable attempt to do so, she spiked his drink. However, at the same time, Lin got a message from another employee for a huge project. Because she had already drugged Tong, she took him to a room and later, she did the same with Mi'i. In her defense, Lin mentions that she just wanted to be with Tong and used Mi'i for this purpose. She shows no empathy for Mi'i and continues belittling her character and innocence. However, to her dismay, Tong stands up for Mi'i and confesses that he has never had feelings for Lin. He then fires her from the company and tells her to leave. When Lin refuses to leave, Tong calls the security guards to take her away. After Mi'i leaves the room, Tong realizes he misunderstood her actions and feels sorry for it. He approaches her and explains his desire to rebuild the company's reputation. Mi'i, touched by his sincerity, agrees to help. They share a warm embrace, promising to support each other. At this moment, Tong reveals a surprising piece of news. Mi'i's ex-boyfriend, Jakai, is also present in the building. This revelation excites Mi'i, and she immediately starts searching for him, curious about his presence. Mi'i searches for Jakai, and she eventually spots him engaged in a conversation with Lin. Curious, she starts heading towards them, but Tong intervenes, urging her to listen to their conversation before confronting them. Through Lin and Jakai's dialogue, a shocking truth comes to light. Jakai had planned to disrupt the event and harm the company's reputation, but he received a video message from Tong beforehand. In the message, Tong offered Jakai money to break up with Mi'i, and astonishingly, he agreed to the deal. He justified his actions by expressing frustration over Mi'i's family matters, revealing his shallow character. Unbeknownst to Jakai, Mi'i is listening to all of this and is fuming. Soon, she enters the room, confronts Jakai, and slaps him hard. She then reminds him that she did everything in her power to help him and never complained. Right then, Tong intervenes and asks Mi'i to go to the car and wait for him, while he has a word with Jakai. Next, Jakai asks for the money Tong promised to give him, but instead, he gets the fraudulent papers he tricked Mi'i into signing to take control over her bank account. Tong also threatens to send a copy of his gambling transactions to his employer. Hearing this, Jakai freaks out and begs Tong not to do so before leaving the building. After he departs, Tong attempts to contact Mi'i, but to his surprise, her phone rings from behind him. He turns around and discovers Mi'i sitting there alone. She explains that she remained to ensure Tong's safety and well-being in case things escalated with Jakai. Touched by her concern, they leave the building together, promising to unwind with some food and drinks once they get home. Later, at home, Mi gets drunk and becomes quite uninhibited. She expresses her anger at Lin and Jakai and mentions taking revenge. When Tong tries to calm her down, she jumps on him and suddenly starts kissing him. Tong gets into this and kisses Mi back. Here, one can clearly see that Tong has started developing feelings for her. 
The following day, when Mei goes to the office, everyone calls her Lady Boss and treats her with respect. However, when she checks her worksheet, there is no work assigned to her. This slightly annoys Mei, so she talks to the supervisor and compels him to give her some work. At the same time, the director of the company arrives there and mentions that she is searching for someone who is free and can complete an urgent task for her. Surprisingly, no one raises their hand except for Mei. Hesitantly, the director assigns the work to her and suggests she do it with full dedication. In the next scene, Mei begins working with the utmost focus. She doesn't take her meals on time and gets heavily invested in work. She stays late and works through the night to complete it within the time frame. She just leaves a message for Tong and stays at the office. However, he waits for her and falls asleep on the couch. The following morning when Tong reads the message, he gets annoyed with her and immediately leaves for the office. Meanwhile, Mei completes her tasks and heads to the washroom to freshen up. When she walks away, Tong's personal secretary can be seen approaching Mei's desk. A little while later, when Mei returns to her desk with the supervisor and director and gets ready to demonstrate her completed tasks, she notices that the file is missing. The director yells at her for her carelessness, and the supervisor mentions that he will do the task himself. Mei tries to defend herself, but faints due to the stress. Fortunately, Tong arrives there in time and holds her, carrying her to his office. He then calls for a doctor and sits by her side till she comes around. Next, when Mei opens her eyes, she is surprised to find herself on the office couch. Worried, she pulls herself together and proceeds to complete her assigned task. However, to her surprise, the task is already completed because Tong actually recovered it from the deleted files. He also reveals that the deplorable act was done by his secretary and he has already fired her from the job. He then suggests Mei never leave her laptop unlocked in the workplace and also offers her the position of his new personal assistant. In the following scene, Tong takes her to an important meeting with Mr. Mu, an e-commerce platform developer. During the meeting, they decide to begin a marketing campaign for their company and even decide on a model for it. Before leaving, Mr. Mu asks Mei if they've ever met before, but the latter says no. Afterward, Mei and Tong visit a photo studio where they meet their selected model, a beautiful girl named Shang. Tong sits with her and conducts a small interview. To his surprise, the girl appears to know every single detail about him. Shang knows that her hero doesn't drink coffee with milk or put his mobile phone on the table. During the photo shoot, Shang flirts with Tong, but he cleverly ignores her and calls Mei to capture photos with them. Later, while inside his car to return home, Tong wonders how Shang knew such personal details about him. Meanwhile, Shang is looking at a picture of her with Tong and is very excited to post it online. The next day, Mei again goes to meet Mr. Mu to talk about their collaboration, but when he doesn't arrive on time, she opens her phone and begins checking her notifications. To her shock, Shang posted the photo online and people have started comparing her with Mei. Most of them make fun of our heroine for being innocent and coming from a village. Right then, Mr. Mu enters the room and notices that Mei is upset. When he learns why, he suggests that she not pay attention to hateful comments. He then gives her some of his favorite biscuits to ease her mind. After Mei leaves, Mr. Mu takes out his phone and looks at a picture, in which the girl with him looks exactly like Mei. Later, Mei receives a message from Shang and decides to visit her at her house. The model wastes no time and apologizes to Mei for the uncomfortable comments from her fans. She then asks Mei about her married life and suggests ways to impress Tong by giving him a cup of milk before bed for a stronger relationship. Following Shang's advice, that night, Mei brings a slice of cake to Tong. Unfortunately, he starts having a stomach ache after eating it, revealing that he's lactose intolerant. Mei apologizes, but Tong rushes to the bathroom. She then messages Shang about the plan going horribly wrong, but the latter seems happy about it, hinting that it actually went exactly to plan. The next morning, Shang visits Tong at his office and offers him a cup of soup. Mei enters the office with a bowl of porridge, but retreats when she sees Shang offering soup. This triggers a flashback to their school days when Tong saved a boy named Jiang from bullies and gifted him a pink water bottle, which Shang now holds. Tong, however, follows Mei and suggests they have lunch together. In the evening, Mei exercises and hopes to get closer to Tong. Right then, she receives a call from Shang, who advises her to get more into Tong's face. Following her advice, Mei attempts to get Tong's attention while he's working, but he asks her to stop. In the process, she accidentally knocks over a figurine from the shelf, breaking it. Tong gets furious, showing the figurine's importance and value to him. Later, Mei sits on the couch, worried about how to fix the broken puppy figurine. She calls Shang and explains what happened after following her suggestions. Shang advises her to stay away from Tong for a while until he cools down. Meanwhile, Shang sends a seemingly accidental message to Tong about her own fixed pendant. This leads Tong to ask if she can also repair his broken puppy figurine, and Shang agrees to help. The next day in the office, Mei is still anxious about fixing the figurine. On the other hand, Tong receives a call from Shang informing him that the item has been fully repaired. He asks Shang to send the item to his house, but she insists on handing it over in person. Reluctantly, Tong invites Shang to his house for lunch. In the next scene, the couple start preparing lunch. 
Tong advises me to behave appropriately around Shang, to which she agrees. After a while, Shang arrives and gives the repaired puppy to Tong. Unexpectedly, Shang belittles me, criticizing her for not understanding the significance of the figurine and treating it as a mere decoration. However, Tong defends me, explaining that she didn't know about the importance of the puppy. Unfortunately, the situation upsets Mi Yi, and she feels excluded, thinking that Tong is sharing personal details with Shang, but not with her. Feeling hurt, she leaves the room. Tong tries to follow her, but Shang intervenes, asking him to drive her home. Surprisingly, Tong refuses, stating that she knows the way and she can drive herself home. This leaves Shang disappointed as she watches Tong prioritize Mi Yi. Following the awkward situation, Tong approaches Mi Yi, reassuring her that he will open up and share more about himself. He takes her to another room where he reveals a large box filled with photo albums and sentimental items. He shows her pictures of his childhood, explaining how he had a close bond with a puppy, which unfortunately passed away. His grandmother then crafted the little puppy figurine for him. Mei -E notices a picture of Tong with another boy named Jiang and asks about it. Tong explains that Jiang was his best friend in school, but has since lost touch with him. Mei -E also opens up and shares her life journey, discussing how her grandmother and father made things difficult, preventing her from continuing her education. However, she deeply admires her mother for always being supportive. The next day, while Tong handles office work, Mei -E meets with Mr. Mu to finalize a business deal. During the meeting, Mr. Mu seems to get close to Mei, -E, even inviting her for dinner. After some initial reluctance, she agrees. Next, they visit a fancy restaurant, and Mr. Mu prepares a special bowl for Mei. He suggests ordering a cherry cake, but she declines, mentioning her cherry allergy. At this moment, Tong, who's been waiting for Mei to return home, calls her. She playfully tells him that she's having dinner with her favorite teacher, making him slightly jealous. Tong insists she come home soon, emphasizing it's a special day. Mei, -E, feeling obligated, promises to be there within 20 minutes. She then apologizes to Mr. Mu before leaving. The latter, however, is intrigued by the similarities between his wife, Ryo, and Mei, -E, especially their similar appearance and health issues. Back at home, Tong reveals that it's his birthday, teasing Mei for forgetting. As she hadn't planned anything special, he takes the initiative and prepares two cups of boiled noodles for them. Mei -E feels a bit down but promises to make it up by celebrating his birthday the following day. The next morning, she surprises Tong, telling him she'll be spending the whole day with him. She has already picked a dress and prepared a delicious breakfast for him. Later, her mother calls and unexpectedly starts crying, revealing her father's betrayal and the presence of another woman at home. Tong rushes to her concerned and learns about the family situation. He then decides to help Mei's mother. Following this, Mei and Tong visit her house, finding her father with another woman. Tong approaches Mei's mother and asks if she wants to stay with her husband. She firmly refuses, slapping her husband. Tong then invites her to stay at his home for the night, suggesting they use the bedroom while he sleeps on the couch. Mei's mother hesitates, but Tong insists, emphasizing their comfort. Meanwhile, Shang is in her car with the girl who was caught with Mei's father earlier. It's revealed that Chang is trying to disrupt Mei's family and gather more information about her. After gaining a crucial detail about Mei's past, she pays the girl a handsome amount of money and leaves. The next day, Tong proposes that Mei's mother manage one of their laundry shops. She's hesitant, concerned about paying the rent, but Tong assures her not to worry about the expenses. After a while, Shang calls Tong and invites him to a private meeting. Initially, he suggests meeting at his office, but when Shang mentions it's about Mei, he agrees to her request. Later, they meet at a parking lot where Shang deliberately falls on Tong, allowing her hidden photographer to take pictures. She then informs Tong that Mei is adopted and is unaware of it. To her surprise, Tong reveals that he already knew this and is still fully supportive of Mei. Determined to ruin their relationship, Shang tries to create issues for them working together. But Tong firmly states that Mei's personal life should not be a problem. As he prepares to leave, Shang reveals that it's her birthday and insists on celebrating together. Tong initially refuses, but when she threatens to reveal her secret to Mei, -E, he reluctantly agrees. They then go to a fancy restaurant where Shang orders a cake to celebrate her birthday. On the other hand, Mei -E is waiting for Tong to arrive home, and suddenly her phone rings. She opens it to see the news of Tong cheating on her and a picture of him and Shang enjoying the latter's birthday. Mei -E is devastated to see the news and immediately calls Tong, but unfortunately, he doesn't answer it. Later, when Tong is in his car, he receives a number of calls asking him about his relationship with Shang. Tong boldly rejects the accusation and clears that the two are just business colleagues. He then opens the internet and notices a number of articles on them. Without wasting any time, he immediately calls his manager and asks her to clear the issue. Following this, Tong returns home and finds Mei -E sleeping. He pinches her nose and wakes her up. As soon as she wakes up, Mei -E expresses her anger at him, accusing him of ignoring her and spending time with Shang. Tong tries to explain that he's not interested in Shang, 
but Mei refuses to listen and proceeds to leave the house. Tong doesn't stop her, hoping to talk to her after she cools down. In the next scene, we see Mei sitting in a hotel, surfing through the internet. Right then, Mr. Mu approaches her and asks her about her visit. Mei mentions staying separate from Tong for a couple of days, but Mr. Mu agrees to help her. He then takes her to a hotel room and after serving her a couple of drinks, suggests she gets sleep. Meanwhile, Tong calls Shang and asks her to clear up the rumor. To his dismay, the latter refuses to do so, suggesting that the publicity is helping their company. However, Tong doesn't like it and tells her that he does not care about the company at present and wants none of this negative publicity. Back in the hotel room, Mr. Mu is taking good care of Mi Yi, bringing her food and increasing security for her. He also tells her not to worry about the situation. Elsewhere, when Shang is busy in a photo shoot, she accidentally vomits and the photographer takes her picture, intending to leak them. Surprisingly, the photographs leak in such a way that it depicts Xiang is pregnant with Tong's child. Our hero gets shocked after reading the news and immediately calls the photographer who took this photo to his office. On the other hand, Mr. Mu visits Mei's house and meets her grandmother and father. To his shock, he learns that Mei is not their biological child and is adopted. On his way back, he remembers his wife Rio's car accident and utters that he has finally found her twin sister. Next, Tong speaks to the photographer and demands to know who hired him to take their photographs. Surprisingly, the latter reveals that it was Shang who had hired them to take their photographs in the parking lot and leaked them. Hearing this, Tong wonders why Shang would want to do so. At the same time, he receives a photo message including his childhood best friends, Jiang and Xiang. Here, he is shocked to learn that Jiang actually changed his gender and became Shang. He then calls her and suggests they meet immediately. Following this, Shang meets with Tong and the two engage in a serious conversation. Without wasting any time, our hero says that she should drop the act as he has found out about her plan. He also makes her listen to the voice recording of the photographer who exposed her. Moreover, he shows her the picture of Zhang and her, asking her why she is doing all this despite being a good friend. In response, Zhang says that she likes him a lot and changed her gender just to be with him. However, Tong makes it clear that he doesn't have any special feelings for her and only loves Mei. -E. Hearing all this, Zhang gets upset and walks away. The next day, Shang posts a video message for everyone, clarifying that she has entered her contract with One Mao Group and is responsible for creating the fake scandal. She also confesses her love for Tong and apologizes to Mei for giving her trouble. Seeing this video message, Tong becomes happy and tells his manager that he always knew she was a dignified girl. He then proceeds to go meet Mei in the hotel, but not before wearing a mask and sunglasses to hide his face. Soon, he arrives at the hotel and meets Mei. The latter is very happy to see Tong and hugs him. He tells her that he wants to end their contract and begin a fresh relationship with her. Right then, the photographers notice them and chase them. Later, the duo arrive at Tong's apartment and our hero proposes to her with a beautiful diamond ring. Mei immediately accepts the proposal and the two begin kissing. In the last scene, Mr. Mu comes to meet Tong and reveals to him that Mei is actually the twin sister of his late wife, Rio. He also tells him that Mei belongs to a very rich family and is the only heir of her generation. Mr. Mu then accuses Tong of hiding this information from Mei on purpose and questions his intentions. The episode ends with Tong not saying a word and just smiling, indicating that he knows everything and is executing a bigger plan to acquire her fortune.